we don't put the FBI warning on our tape at all anymore. The FBI warning and the copyright warning, I don't think, means a thing. As far as why people copy tapes, you probably want to talk to a psychologist about human nature. We use the FBI warning at the beginning of our video cassettes, but uh, it's the macrovision process that really prevents the uh, illegal copying. If a person is determined to copy your video cassette, there is absolutely nothing stopping him. Every year, producers, rights holders, distributors, and video dealers lose hundreds of millions of dollars to casual copying. Recent studies indicate that at least 40% of VCR households in the U.S. alone have, make, or watch illegal copies. In fact, one illegal copy is made for every three legal videos sold. Illegal copies can be found in millions of homes across America. And they're not just Hollywood blockbusters. They include music videos, how-to training tapes, sports videos, children's movies, exercise videos, and documentaries. No genre is safe from illegal copying. And the copies weren't only made of expensive programs. 70% of illegal copies are made from video cassettes costing $30 or less. But it's not just the home video market that's contributing to this $500 million a year industry loss. Indications are that copying is the normal practice in 34% of the firms in corporate America. We have uh, evidence of, of customers in the past that have been purchasing the series as we add programs to that series, and they've been ordering one, one at a time. And since we've put on the macrovision process, they have now been ordering 10 deep, 20 deep to maybe service some of their outside divisions. So again, that, that to us says that before they were probably making their own copies. There's just doesn't seem to be enough concern uh, about uh, copyright protection. Uh, they feel that they're exempt uh, just making one casual copy. Several large organizations occasionally purchase a copy, uh, normally for a preview, but the ultimate purchase is one copy. and. Uh, we have a feeling that their uh, organization could utilize more than one copy for several locations. Illegal copying is a problem threatening the revenues of all video producers and distributors. Profitability is the only way that we're going to stay in business. And uh, if we didn't prevent the illegal copying, our sales would be reduced. And obviously, we couldn't stay in business. You know, something had to be done because I was paying out this money and selling two or three tapes and nearly everybody had them. <laughs> I believe that if we didn't uh, encode our cassettes with Macrovision uh, anti-piracy protection, we'd probably see a drop in sales from 25 to 30 percent very quickly. Financial well-being of companies like mine and uh, all distributors and producers of intellectual properties uh, are in jeopardy if illegal copying is allowed to continue and perpetuate. The loss of revenue from uh, copying uh, our cassettes, if they weren't encoded with Macrovision, probably would be a loss of at least a half a million dollars. But direct economic gain is not always the primary concern about illegal copying. Quality is quite important to our company, and we believe that if we did not prevent uh, our tapes from being copied, then the second and third fourth generation copies made from it with our name on it would be out there being circulated and uh, a lot of people would be feeling that uh, we don't put out a quality product. The Macrovision process is adding millions of direct and indirect bottom line dollars to the books of corporate producers, non-theatrical producers, rights holders and distributors around the world with a patented process of copy protection which has proven to reduce illegal copying and significantly increase sales. I must say that I did notice a sharp increase when we began using the macrovision process. I would say probably a solid 5%, maybe approaching a 10% increase. Or in the past, we may have sold one copy of a program uh, and it was subsequently duplicated illegally. We feel we are getting uh, more unit sales now with macrovision. Macrovision has increased the sales of my instructional tapes and the demonstration tapes well over 50%.
Macrovision's coffee protection technology was the result of three years' research and the development of a unique idea. Put an electronic signal onto the original video cassette that is completely transparent during playback, yet when copied, would essentially wreak havoc with the automatic gain controls of the recording VCR. The copy protection process is applied at a licensed Macrovision duplicator. At the duplication facility, the video signal from the master tape is routed through the Macrovision copy protection equipment to the dubbing machines. The signal is inserted into the vertical blanking interval of the original video cassette. When copied to another video cassette, the signal is designed to cause the AGC of the recording VCR to fluctuate, disrupting the synchronization pulses on the VCR and monitor. The process was recently tested on over 4,300 VCR TV combinations. And while some copying and playback equipment combinations can produce an acceptable copy, most result in unacceptable distortions. A small percentage of illegal copies result in poor color quality and noticeable pulsing of the picture. And a slightly larger percentage result in somewhat twisted and darkened images while the majority result in totally unviewable copies. Now in its second generation, the Macrovision process has become the de facto standard in video copyright protection with an 86% effectiveness rate, all without any degradation to the legal cassette. We are more than satisfied that uh, we've prevented the great majority of, of any casual copying that's going on, if not all of it. In most cases, sales increases of only a few percentage points make the Macrovision process an essential element of good business. I don't think we could really keep up the business that we have without it. In fact, I know we couldn't. Because our margins are getting smaller, we feel that we must protect our product from being copied if we're going to stay in business. The sales generation from the process, uh, we feel, has been substantial. All you got to do is prevent a few copies going out and obviously that pays for a lot of additional macrovision fees going on to a tape so the cost is, is highly reasonable there is a simple formula for discovering whether macrovision will work for you here's an example for illustration this customer forecasts sales of 5,000 units during a one-month period in this case the cost for macrovision is seventeen hundred and fifty dollars the customer's net income per unit, which is the wholesale price minus variable costs like duplication and shipping, is $20 per unit. To justify the cost of Macrovision, this customer needs only to sell 88 more units, the equivalent of a 1.75% increase in sales. Anything over this just improves the bottom line. Well, I think that rights holders should be a, a, aware of of the cost involved with Macrovision. And I think once they analyze that based on the number of units that they're, that they're selling, they'll find out the cost is very minimal. You don't want to take the chance that indeed there may be a lot of copying going on. And you prevent it by putting Macrovision on the tapes. If they want to make money, it's the only way to go. Macrovision, protecting your image and your bottom line. Macrovision invites you to join almost every major U.S. movie studio and some of the world's largest corporations and special interest producers who are using Macrovision copy protection technology to protect their copyright.